So you want to start a small business, maybe get into that little coffee shop selling specialty coffees, become a franchisee of a gym or bakery or even a pizza shop, maybe sell products or services online, start your own bed and breakfast, graphic design or even plumbing business, consider cashing in on the mining boom. Well, the ideas for a business are only limited by imagination, expertise and reality. Putting those ideas into practice and making a success of it, well, that's another thing altogether. In South Australia, on average, 19,000 businesses start up each year. The reality is that only one in four of those businesses will still be operating in two years' time. And the fallout when the business closes for owners, families, suppliers, employees can be devastating. Not that we want to paint a bleak picture of small business, quite the opposite. We want to see your idea blossom into success. And I can tell you from personal experience running a small production company in Adelaide that the sense of achievement and the rewards, and I don't just mean financial, bring great joy. So this presentation, which you should be using in conjunction with the Starting Your Small Business Workbook, will give you a step-by-step -step guide to getting started. We'll be looking at what it takes to run a small business. Is your business idea feasible? Will it be profitable? Your business structure, managing staff, risk management, e-business, and a whole lot about the paperwork side of things, including registering the business, licenses, and records management. And also along the journey, we'll be hearing from people who started from scratch and survived the pitfalls and hurdles to establish longevity in their businesses. Starting a small business from scratch was extremely difficult. Um, if you've done your planning right, then when you open the doors, it's just close your eyes and go hard and work hard. Starting a small business was very, very scary. Daunting. <laughs> um, daunting but exciting. I guess, yeah, nerve-wracking. You don't know if it's going to work, but when you're really passionate about it, you want it, you, you, you know, obviously hopeful that everything's going to come into place. The only way that we knew how successful we were going to be is to actually enter the market. So we just dived in and had a go. Um, starting a new business was exciting and absolutely terrifying all at the same time. I loved it. Um, challenging, but I loved it. I probably underestimated the amount of work involved in setting it up, but um, it's the best decision I've ever made. They're just some of the people whose stories we'll be sharing with you. Now, accompanying this presentation, as I mentioned earlier, is a workbook. It's really important that you use the workbook as an ongoing reference tool, as it contains a stack of really useful information. And in addition, the worksheets in the workbook are a must if you really want your business to succeed. The worksheets enable you to write down your thoughts, keep them as a record, and constantly revisit them as part of the planning process. But first off, I want to ask you a couple of pertinent questions, and you need to answer these honestly to yourself and even to your family if they're going to be involved in the process. The answers you give may just determine whether you are ready and equipped to go into business for yourself. First question is really two in one. Why do you want to start a small business and what is your overriding motivation to do this? Money? Get out of a current job? A brilliant idea you've had for years perhaps. Are you ready to take a pay cut from whatever job you're in now? Are you prepared to work the long hours required for perhaps two to three years or longer to get established? As somebody in business once said, it took me 10 years to become an overnight success. It would be worth now pausing the video and going to the first three worksheets in section two of the workbook. Give them all plenty of time and energy. Go over them again. Show them to somebody close to you for feedback. And then sit back and decide whether you're still ready to go or not.